Almost every evening, hundreds of people squeeze into this makeshift stadium to watch a martial art called Dambe. The goal is to score a kill by forcing any part of your opponent's body to touch the ground. Some records show that Dambe goes back as far as the 10th century. It's been kept alive by the Hausa people in northern Nigeria, and its roots are said to be in training for war. This rope that he's wrapping around my hand, they actually call it the spear. And the spear is what they use to, to, to kill, and the kill, of course, is the knockout. Oh my gosh, it's like, it's cutting off my circulation. <laughs> Now that it's like getting tighter, I can feel the power in my hand. You can like literally feel it getting stronger and stronger. Like this, right? So block the person, so like push them away, right? And then you go like this. Okay. Dambe's following is steadily growing, even beyond these walls. Videos on YouTube can get millions of views. And Dambe lovers like Max Wokalu see a chance to take it even further. And that's the thing, Dambe goes way beyond just the fight. Hey. There's a strong sense of culture. I'm seeing them doing stuff in the ground, drawing some figures. The preparation, the atmosphere. the atmosphere. As you can see, it can get a bit mad. Which is what we like, you know, like, so it's fun. Okay. Kalu left his job in public relations in London to start a company called African Warriors that is trying to launch Dambe into international markets. What were the weekly numbers we were doing? It was doing definitely over 25,000. And we were on Freeview, and we were on Freesat, and we were on national TV. I think this thing of bringing together traditional African culture and exciting combat, I think it's such a winning formula. Definitely. And like I said, I mean, we've had a lot of interest from the American channels about the sport as well. So we've got a long way to go, my friend, a long way to go. Sometimes when I'm talking to people who have no idea what we're doing, I'm like, imagine Black Panther, but for real. Right now, MMA, the closest comparison to Dambe, is the fastest growing sport in the world. There are so many types of mixed martial arts out there. What makes Dambe special? Dambe is like no other sport in the world. I, Dambe is not even a sport. It's deeper than that. It's a lifestyle. So we have such a rich, deep culture of this thing, where you have fighters who are not just fighting to represent themselves, they're representing their villages. And there's just a level of fearlessness that you see in Dambe that you do not see anywhere else. Despite international interest, Dambe isn't even a national pastime in Nigeria. Many people here see it as primitive. For most of its history, fighters have come from clans known for being butchers. And it's always attracted young men from poor backgrounds looking for an outlet, like Anis Usman. <laughs> Usman joined the African Warriors when he heard that the team gave a monthly salary, free housing, and medical care. With the growth of the sport, prize money could end up being as much as 15 times the country's minimum wage. Some people seem to kind of look down on Dambe fighters. They see Dambe fighters as riffraffs, as street boys. So do you feel like sometimes you get disrespected by people in society? Mm.
ultimately, fighting sports are not for everybody. This isn't football. Not everybody can watch two men competing in such brutal circumstances, and that's okay. We're not trying to be the poor African cousin of the UFC. We're doing something totally different. We take so much pride in what we have here. So we're not trying to recreate what somebody else has. We're speaking to what we have here. That's why we compete the way we do. Do you think that your role as a Malam, as an Islamic scholar, is a very important part of Dambil? Gaskiya malinta ba ta kawo ta ka wata muhimmanci akan harkar damba ba amma sukan dan da yazo ne man fatawa ta addu'a saboda me mutum ne dai in yazo akan bukatar sa ba ka ci masa a ba amma ko mu dai mukan kan mukan dan kalli abu wani lokacin gashi nan dai ba mu bashi wani da dai mun san gargajiya ce ko shauran su amma wani abu mukan ji da dai mun san ya hibo cikin kamar da ada ta hausa shine ma yasa dai muke dan kallon sa a matsayin ya za a yi matsayin tima ka wani ba amma ba dan haka ba ai ba wani malami da dauka shi lalle lalle sai ya dauka ka harka sa wa matakin Allah ta hurma karaga wa yanzu kuma su yi wato kallon Allah fa wa zuwa inna Allah fa lugu na ba'da Allah bi kulli shay'in adra why do you like to watch dambe mu fi aka sayi na kan dan samu wani abu ni ma na zama kusan kawo member kusan ma dai ban dalilin da yasa na fi zuwa ziyartar su kenan na fi Juni ne ya zama kamar mu mai da hikimar kasuwa idan na ji na kan sami gashi nan dai zai waya da jama'a alheri ne su kan yi muni alheri kuma na kan yi aiki mu ko ban yi aiki ba kan dauki wani abu wanda yake zan iya zuwa hau mashi da gida har da yi wasu yan bukatu 